Thank you for joining me for the Little Women Atlanta Season 2 Reunion. I'm your host, Kevin Frazier, and joining me tonight are the sassy ladies from Atlanta. Andrea, I want to ask you about Chris. <laughs> like, I feel like dumb for always taking him back. <laughs> it's easy to laugh about it now, but I mean, it was real when you were in the hospital and he wasn't there. Like, that's probably the greatest days of your life. When your children are born, it's a magical moment. Uh, throughout Andres' pregnancy, there were some complications with um, not only her health, but also with her relationship with Aubrey's father, Chris. Let's see where things started to go wrong. How's your pregnancy coming along? Yeah, I've been having a hard time breathing, especially at night. Your daddy and I worry about you. Anybody can father a child. It's, can you be a father to the child? Chris wasn't there when Arnie was born. And if things get tough, I hope he doesn't leave. He and I got in an argument and he was left. Do you think he's going to come back? Don't cry, Andrea. I can't wait for him. I'm sorry. What the f is Chris? You have a daughter here. You left me with Andre, and now you're going to leave me with Aubrey? Chris. Nope. There ain't nothing else to say. You already said what the f you had to say. How's it been? How's that second child having a little girl this time? It's been tough. You know, but Cause she's doing all on, on her own now. Like my family ain't helping her or anything like that. So shouldn't she be getting help from someone else? Yeah, he should be there. Like he seems like he runs from his problems. And like, I don't want anyone else to raise my 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 kids. I don't want the father to raise his kids. Joining us now is Chris, the father of Andrea's two children. All right, cool. Chris, thanks for joining us. Uh, how are things going right now between the two of you? Really, the it is like, I mean, everybody's trying to get in a relationship, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And that's, mm -hmm. that's when we start getting frustrated and then we start talking about it and this and that. And it's like, it's like I tell Andrea, I ain't with your mom, I ain't with your dad, I ain't with your sister, I ain't with your friends, I ain't with nobody. So for them to back up and give us our space, because usually that's what it comes down to, you know what I mean? Because everybody has to judge this and that, but who are they to judge when, you know, their relationship's the same Do you think there's a way that you can work things out with her family? Do you want to work I mean, things out with her family? I hope so. Do you want I mean, to? In a way, I don't, honestly, because, like, you know, it's just not going to be the same no more, like, for when at first, you know, like. But I think you should because either way, they're always going to be around no matter what. Yeah, they're going to be like around. Just like you can always like, be around. I'm not going to apologize to nobody. I'm not going to have them apologize to me. They are raising Andre, though. Yeah, they are. They are, so they're, they're, they're helping you a lot. Yeah, and, and I, you know, I give them a lot of props for that, too, you know, because, I mean, I know I wasn't there, you know. To everybody, I'm, like, the bad guy. It's just, like, I can only take so much before, like, Baby, and I don't want to look. You're not the only one that's going through it. I'm, going, I'm going through it also, but do you see me getting up and leaving? No, I do not leave. But I just, it's hard because I, I kept telling you, look, why don't you just tell your family or your friends, whoever, like, just to back up. Either way, and it's like, you're always going to put their two cents in it. I didn't come here with you. I know that, I, I, So, you know. Just treat her how you would want Aubrey to be treated. When your daughter's crying and then Andre gets involved, you think you're going to be worried, Andre, don't get in your sister's business. Nah, you're going to be like, Andre, you better watch over your sister. Just like their parents are like, Amanda, you better watch over her. So stop thinking about her as like just some broad and just her family. Think of it, always switch it around. Like, this is, pretend it's Aubrey. But well, this is different. Like, why? Why? Like, why are you even coming at me like I'm this? I'm telling because I care about her. Everybody's like trying to hate on me and all this. And I, I don't even know what to do no more. And I'm tired of this. Like, everybody. Hold on for a second. She's just trying to give you a little advice. Yeah, I get it. Let me tell you something. Don't internalize it so much and say, why are you coming at me? Right? Yeah, I mean, you don't got to get loud. I'm right here, like, you know what I mean? My only point is that think of it how you would feel if it was Aubrey. Ladies, what do you think of the situation? I totally agree with the example that she gave. And, you know, y'all have to learn how to talk as a dog, not talking when you're upset, because when you're upset, your understanding is absolutely zero. And if you really, really love that girl, regardless of what mama say, regardless of what daddy say, regardless of what sister say, you hang in there with her and you talk to her. Like, I've already tried that, and it's like, you gotta it, keep it got trying. me nowhere. You know what I mean? You gotta it's keep like... trying. You say that their parents are after you and attacking you and all this kind of stuff. Every time you leave, she runs to us and her parents, and we have to pick up the pieces. It's building animosity towards you. He's really hurt you, hasn't he? <laughs> I think it's good to explain what 
makes you behave in that way. I mean, it's all, like I said, there's only so much I can take, too, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like everybody's not trying to gang up on me. You gotta also understand the parents, too. They want them to have a man in their life that's gonna look out for them and those kids. And the action that you're showing is not that. Walking out on a woman with two kids is a coward ass move. What I'm trying to say is like, I was good, you know, doing little family activities and this and that, but like, what happened? What is, what is the thing? these words, you know, it's just Why like, did you exchange, what did you exchange words about? What? I mean. What did you exchange, what did you exchange, you know, you know? What did you exchange words about? You know what, I'm gonna just say, man, I'm tired of this Like, every, I'm, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. All right, let, let's put yourself in my shoes. How would you feel if somebody tells you, well, I'm a buck, you know, I'm gonna kill you? How would you feel? Would you feel comfortable at your, own, at your own house and then they pull up at two, three in the morning? Nah, I know you wouldn't feel comfortable. But you know what I mean? Matter of fact, when he told me that, I even told him, I told him, that's how you feel. He's like, yeah, I'll throw you in this box. And I told him, go ahead. I told him, go ahead. I put my beard, I put, I put my beard down and I told him, go ahead. But it's like, you know what? I'm not even trying to beef with him. It's just, I just lost total respect. I don't hate him. I just lost total respect by what he told me. I don't think he meant it. I don't at least think, tell me I, I hate you or something. It. Not you want to kill me, throw over the box, throw let me over the box. Let me tell you. Let me say this, Chris. People in your life will say some really crazy things to you. They really will. Part of growing up is just dealing with it and moving on and making everything work the best possible so you can take care of that family. So yeah, you can I take care of that family. It's like, kids, man. It's like nothing's gonna change my mind by what was said. Like, on, nothing. You gotta, you gotta move. You know what? Let's bring, hold on. Let's bring in another important voice in this. Let's bring in Jordan right now, Amanda's boyfriend, because he's been around a lot. My baby. I'm so happy he's here. Hey, Jade. Hey, Hansel. Hey, how you doing? Jordan, how you doing? Good, good, good. You know, we were just talking about Andrea and Chris's relationship. You've had a chance to witness a lot of this. I, I just want to hear your thoughts. I ain't gonna lie, if I was in her shoes, yeah, I'd want better. Like, I'm tired of them bringing that over here. Chris and Amanda have had a few exchanges. Does it ever bother you? Yeah, it does. I want to tell Chris something all the time, and he knows it. But we've had our ups and downs, and because Andrea knows at the end of the day, we're the ones that's always there for her. When Chris leaves, she comes to the house, she stays. I take care of the baby. I feel like another dad, you know what I mean? Go grow up, bro. I mean. I feel where you're coming from, but it's like nobody ever gives me the damn chance to. Like everybody's just butting in, you know what I mean? And it's like Chris, that. You're, Chris, you're you. I, I'm not I, using I, no excuse. That's what I it really is. I do feel like it's an you know excuse, I mean? and it's it, not only an excuse, but it's like you feel like you're such a victim. Yeah. Life is hard, but once again, you have a family. You chose to have these children. Not only were uh, Chris and Andrea fighting each other this season, but it, all the drama also caused the tiny twins to test their sisterly bond. He's not supposed to be arguing with you. There was a lot of drama last night between Andrea and Chris, and it's not your fault. What the f are you quit on me? You need to get put out, man. Okay, but when you used to get in my mother bed, that's two different people. I just feel like Chris is like trying to keep her away from me. You need to talk to her. I can't let. So you telling me I can't f see my sister? So she's even thinking about not even wanting she in, the in the delivery room. But she don't want me in the f delivery room. My sister has given Chris too many chances and he still doesn't learn. Whatever. How's your relationship? And how did that test your sisterly bond? It's gotten better. You know, I wish we didn't fight. Maybe. Because we never had We fought never like that. ever fought like that. Never. Ever. Like, we're not as close how we used to be. And I wish we were. I don't know. I just feel like they're breaking apart, really, because before Chris came back in, they were together all the time. I just don't like it, but then you, you know that. That's a part of growing up and, you know, going our separate ways. I, I mean, Chris, at the end of the day, what is the status of your relationship right now? Right now, we're good. Like, I mean, are you here to stay? I'm here to stay. 